let's as well uh, i'll ask mm -hmm. some uh, quick uh, fun questions uh, mm -hmm. so uh, to how many countries have you been to and what are your favorite ones uh 53 um is uh the number of countries i've been to um favorite ones interesting i think uh different countries can be uh, good for uh different uh reasons right so um like i think uh, just lots of places in latin america are good for um you know having both uh, you know good weather and good food and uh the uh you know a, a, a lot of like very uh, po uh, very positive things about the culture there um i think that's uh, true of like you know Mexico, it's true of Argentina, um, you know, true of, uh, you know, Costa Rica, other places as well. Um, in, I mean, Singapore is, um, I think, uh, just fascinating in uh, a, a lot of uh, ways. It's this uh, kind of intersection where a lot of people from, um, you know, China and like other East Asian places and uh, a lot of uh, people from the West uh, come. And, uh, you know, within the crypto space, it's this uh, very interesting uh, kind of meeting spot uh, where uh, a lot of uh, things uh, happen. Um, I mean, it, Taiwan is kind of like that too, right? It's uh, I mean, I mean, different from Singapore, like, uh, like the uh, the ethos is more of this kind of de like a democratic one and um, you know there's people like audrey tong that are uh, also part of the radical exchange community and uh, she's done a lot of uh, really good work there um in europe i uh, yeah i mean portugal has been um interesting um it's uh, i just uh, visited recently it's uh the there's definitely like a, a, a lot of uh, crypto people qu um, uh, quietly there and, uh, you know, also uh, definitely um, a lot of uh, interesting locals, uh, both uh, in the crypto space and uh, out of the uh, crypto space. Uh, it feels like the, uh, like the culture there is definitely yeah, like more um, genuine than uh, some of the other places where crypto people try to gather and it just uh, ends up mostly being, I mean, a bunch of uh, rich people trying to uh, like basically mm -hmm. being excited about spending a lot of money. Um, the, uh, I mean, Eastern Europe is definitely fascinating. Like I, yeah, I mean, I just had a visit, I think like Estonia and uh, Ukraine and uh, Montenegro and, you know, Poland uh, for a little bit and uh, also at Czechia. And there's just a, you know, strong uh, uh, crypto communities and uh, just, uh, you know, interesting culture and, um, you know, people who just lots of people who are very good at, um, you know, math and, uh, and uh, computers and, uh, te and technology there. Um, so, you yeah, know, I think, uh, you know, and, you know, obviously, the US, it's uh, just a very uh, fascinating, huge amount of uh, different uh, projects, both in crypto and in uh, some of the uh, other uh, places that, that I uh, care about, other fields that I care about, I mean, whether it's uh, life extension or uh, kind of ideas about radical governance research or whatever else. Um, it's, uh, it, it definitely has a uh, a very interesting um, culture that I think uh, a lot of uh, people still like don't uh, fully appreciate. I mean, even like ideas like um, open source, right? Like, and that you know, software should be open sourced. I mean, I think it's. Uh, like it's popular in the United States and it's uh, popular in uh, Europe. But if you start going outside of those uh, two places, I mean, and in Latin America there, like if you go to, you know, East Asia, for example, like the idea of open source start, starts to come less naturally to people. But then the US at the same time, like it's it's good at like actually starting big projects and uh, like actually, um, you know, pushing them forward and turning them into these uh, really significant things. Um, so, I mean, the US is good at that. And I think like East Asia is uh, very good at that as well, um, right? So I think uh, there is this like interesting mix of like both uh, idealistic values and uh, this uh, kind of mm, I, like, uh, pragmatism that I think uh, can be a uh, good mix. But, um, you know, at the same time, there's definitely uh, a lot of uh, 
a lot of uh, crypto projects and uh, you know other things in the U.S. that are less interesting and that like tr get a little bit too focused on you know like trying to earn as much money as possible. Um, but that's uh, you know not a problem unique to the U.S. That's I think uh, something that's uh, very true in a lot of uh, different places. Um, so yeah, no, I think you know lots of countries are just uh, fascinating and uh, have fascinating communities in different ways. And what are the countries you haven't uh, visited yet, but you would like to visit? I want to visit more places in the Middle East. Uh, so I've been to um, Israel and I've been to Palestine. Uh, but uh, aside from uh, that, I actually haven't really been to uh, Middle Eastern places yet, with, you know, except for uh, transiting at airports. Uh, so mm -hmm. a lot of people from Turkey keep inviting me and I do want mm -hmm. to go at some point. Um, and I um, you know there are other uh, countries as well. So like doing uh, a you know, kind of more proper um, exploration of the yeah, Middle East and, uh, um, you know, maybe the, um, you know, Georgia, like Armenia, Azerbaijan mm -hmm. area when, uh, I mean, people have uh, told me good things about it, um, though, you know, maybe when uh, like things there settle down more and um, Africa also, uh, it's, uh, uh, I've been to uh, Zambia, Kenya, and uh, South Africa, but I haven't been to West Africa yet. Mm -hmm. I, uh, you know, haven't been to Egypt yet, and uh, still would be interesting to see more of those places. Yeah, by the way, some of my friends yeah. want to organize DevCon in Istanbul, and <laughs> that should be the reason for you to visit Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I've, I think uh, Istanbul is definitely one of the locations that we're looking at. It's uh, no, it's it's interesting because uh, for DevCon, you know, we, we we do try to have it be in, in a different continent every year, uh, but so you know the the last one was in uh, Osaka in uh, Japan, and then this one's going to be in Bogota in uh, Colombia, and then um, you know next one, it's uh, it, there's just different locations that we've had recommended, like um, you know we've had recommended um, Ghana, Morocco, um, you know Istanbul. Mm -hmm um someplace in uh, east in eastern europe um ye, uh, india uh, so yeah no it's a hard choice and uh, as well some uh, question about your clothes when where are you getting all these uh, original t-shirts with unicorns <laughs> Oh, I mean, that's not me. That's the Ethereum community. Like the Ethereum community just makes great Ethereum unicorn t-shirts. Uh, it's uh, somehow become a meme in the uh, community. I don't know. I think it's great. So they're mm. providing you all the stuff, right? Yeah. Mm. Some, sometimes, yeah. I know there's, uh, I mean, I definitely do end up wearing lots of things that just, I mean, you know, random Ethereum people just, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, know, like conferences uh, make for me. I, uh, I do hope that they start making other kinds of swag as well, right? Like we've had so many t-shirts, but like, I want to see the hats. I want to see the Ethereum pants. I want to see mm -hmm. more Ethereum socks, um, you know, Ethereum underwear at some point, like just like everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> Have you presented anything cool in Ukraine? Uh, I, uh, I think I did not present, I mean, what did I present? We were just on a panel and we just uh, talked about a lot of things. I mean, and mm -hmm. I think uh, in a lot of ways, the conversation was uh, not, not even uh, very, all uh, that different from this one. Um, you know, talk about some uh, Ethereum things and, um, you know, talk about some uh, Ukraine things and, um, you know, how mm -hmm. um, obviously, yeah, you know, one can be useful for the other. And, uh, no, I thought, uh, you know, it was just a, a good discussion about all kinds of things. Yeah, maybe next time we will see you in the Ukrainian with Shivanka with the present from Ukrainian Ethereum community. <laughs> you know, absolutely. I yeah, I really look forward to it. Yeah. And do you have a dream? I have many dreams. Um, hmm. I don't know. Like, yeah, like I yeah, I dream for myself, I dream for the world, I dream for like Ethereum, like uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I just like want people to be happy. Mm. Yeah, that's, mm. that, that's a good wish, a very good dream. And as well, mm. what are your favorite books? What will you recommend to us to read? Oh, this is, uh, 
Interesting one. I uh, I mean, recently I've definitely been uh, reading more blogs than books, right? So like, mm -hmm. I've been a big I've been a big fan of like the the rationalist literature, um, like uh, you know the the whole Sweet Star Codex blog, um, and uh, the yeah less wrong stuff. Like it taught me a lot about um, like basically how to like think correctly and uh, the kinds of biases that people have and the yeah like ways to try to uh, be better at avoiding that and just be better at uh, thinking clearly about all kinds of issues. Um, a lot of uh, just interesting books on uh, different, uh, let's see, one I started reading recently, I uh, so haven't finished yet. I uh, forget the name. I it was a book by uh, Kevin Carson that was on um, like basically like I think like left libertarian political economy is like the uh, general idea, right? So like trying to take, um, you know, ideas that are inspired by sort of like both left-leaning anarchism and um, you know, libertarianism and uh, like try to create more uh, decentralized economic structures. And, uh, you know, so far it was uh, like the first chapter was just talking about whether or not the, the level of uh, centralization that exists in the economy today is like actually inevitable and actually efficient, or mm -hmm. if it was the result of uh, political choices that could have been made differently. And no, I thought that was uh, an interesting discussion. Yeah, mm. and as well, do you believe in the God? It depends on what God means. God, what uh, no, what God means, right? I guess. Uh, I mean, God, it's not. It's definitely not the sort of thing that, like, not the sort of way that I usually uh, th think about the world. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, no, it, it it depends on like you know what God what God means to you, or like what they. What, what kind of a concept, uh, like, because I think the concept does mean a lot of things to different people. Hmm. So what does it mean for you? Hmm. I think like the version that, that appeals the most to me is like just uh, the idea that the uh, uh, kind of, you know, the universe and like the, the, the just you know both the yeah, kind of mathematical beauty and kind of the moral beauty of the universe is something that that is uh, just worthy of this sort of like you know deep feeling of uh, awe and respect um and uh, you know it's uh, something that uh, we should be grateful for it's uh, something that exists but we don't have uh, a yeah, good re like we don't we still don't really have a good reason to, uh a good way of explaining why it exists um but uh, you know it does and it's uh, our job to make the most of it and yeah for everybody it has different meaning and sometimes it's it's difficult to explain i remember <laughs> we, we, at the interview with your father he was telling about your childhood and i asked uh -huh. him whether you uh, played a lot of video games and he mentioned like mm -hmm. Uh, like first yes but then like <laughs> some girl told him that it's stupid to uh, play video games and that you stopped <laughs> uh, yeah I mean I stopped for a lot of reasons actually uh, yeah. I yeah I think it was just it was my dad who told me who's uh, who told me that uh, he thought I was playing too much and then somehow mm -hmm. I just uh, got bored of World of Warcraft really soon after that you know mm -hmm. Yeah, and as well mm. at what other conferences can we see you? What other countries do you plan to visit uh, the nearest time? Mm. So plan plan to be in South America for uh, a, a couple of months uh, later in the year. So both at uh, DevCon and then there's also some events happening in Argentina later, and I'll probably be in other countries too. Great. So see you at those events and thank you for uh -huh. such uh, interesting conversation. It's really an honor to have you and thank you again a lot for the support of Ukraine. Yeah, no, no, no. thank you too. It really has been a good conversation. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Mm. And no, if you're you in Ukraine next time, uh, we'll be happy to show you around and hopefully you uh, will visit our country more and more when Ukraine wins. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, sounds good. And I uh, really uh, 
look forward to uh, Ukraine being a uh, whole and free and uh, you know visible visitable by uh, airplane and uh, you know very excited uh, to uh, be there next time. Yeah, thank you a lot again. Yeah.